tonight on Game Local. Andrew, Michael, Tracy, and James explore a spooky, haunted, creepy, presumably abandoned mansion only to have the house's resident evil turn one of them against the others. Who will be the traitor? And who will escape alive? I think we've got a pretty good shot at surviving tonight. I believe I'll survive this. I am most definitely not going to survive tonight. Fingers crossed for me. Find out as we catch up with the gang from Enterprise Comics at the Fact TV Keen Studios to play The Trail at House on the Hill. Betrayal at House on the Hill is a three to six player cooperative board game with a twist. The game is played in two distinct phases. During the initial rounds, the exploration phase, players work together to explore a haunted mansion. With each new doorway they pass through, a randomly chosen room tile is added to the board. These rooms can require drawing an event, item, or omen card. The card drawn could give players a helpful object, require a roll to gain an advantage or avoid taking damage, or, in the case of an omen card, potentially bring about the second phase of the game, the haunt. At the start of the haunt phase, one of the players is revealed to have betrayed the others, and the game moves from cooperative to competitive. When this happens, well, We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. For now, let's join our players while they are still being nice to one another. <laughs> <laughs> let's get started. All right, uh, James, you want to go first? I, I guess. Hello, my name is James Scott, and I am playing Peter Akimoto. Let's see here. The Conservatory. And I guess I'm going to go to the left again. I'll say you, you didn't tell me where you were moving. Yeah, no, but you know what? That's where I'm moving. And you get an event card. Oh. It's got to be spun. What? Because of the door. What do you want? The text oh, yeah, is right. wrong. All right. Jonah's turn. Two boys are playing with a wooden top. Would you like a turn, Jonah? One asks. No, says Jonah. I want all the turns. Jonah takes the top and hits the other boy in the face. The boy falls. Jonah keeps hitting them as they fade away. If an explorer has the puzzle box, that explorer discards that item and draws a replacement item for it. If that happens, you gain one sanity. Otherwise, you take one die of mental damage. Yeah, it's starting strong, <laughs> right. man. That's Thankfully, dig, nobody uh, has the die. puzzle box. One die of mental damage. Oh, no, that's terrible. Not one point, it's one die. That's terrible. It could be zero. No. Nope, it was two. <laughs> Right off the Ooh. bat. <laughs> Why? This is going good, Why? guys. This, We're going good. This is, this is crap. You have been instantly brutalized. This is crap. I Jenna, guess. it is your time. Hi, I'm Tracy, and today I am playing Jenny LeClerc. I am going to avoid the stairs this time and end up in the statuary corridor. Thank goodness you got With an yet. event. I could an not event. read that the last time. Burning Man. A man on fire runs through the room. His skin bubbles and cracks, falling away from him and leaving a fiery skull that clatters to the ground, bounces, rolls, and disappears. Jeez. Hey, well, that was creepy. You must attempt a sanity skull. roll. Four plus. You feel a little hot under the collar, but otherwise are fine. Gain one. Two to three. Out, out. You must get out. Put your explorer in the entrance hall. <laughs> Just get Brought out of there. Start. Zero to one. You burst into flames. Absolutely. Take one die of physical damage, then take one die of mental damage oh. as you put out the flames. Oh, God. Well, good thing your uh, sanity is pretty high. I've got, you know, Four. reasonable sanity. So just don't, don't roll one. You know. Like we do. Or zeros. Like that. Oh. Well, it's a three. Three. three yeah, out, okay. out. I got, you know, in the I'm entrance backtrack, all. but sure. Okay. okay. Mm, go back one. Only, only I'm not on back fire. Not You're not on fire. You're not crazy. I mean, crazy. Uh, You're not you on know, fire. Not on fire. Hi. Welcome back. Yeah. <laughs> 
Hello, my name is Michael Johnson. I am playing the character Darwin the Flash Williams. Um, people call him the Flash because he's the fastest character in the game. I'm gonna go up the. I'm, I'm gonna yeah, go this way. Don't go that I'm way. I'm not going that way. Go, no, not, that with way. The, not with the screaming skulls. Yeah. I got the creaky hallway. And because I didn't draw a card. The charred room. Hey, doesn't your boy belong over here? Oh man. Dum, 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 dum. I open it for you, sir. Hey, I don't ever get the first omen card. The madman. I get a companion. A raving, frothing madman. Gain two might and lose one sanity now. Lose two might and gain one sanity <laughs> if you lose custody of the madman. This omen can't be dropped, traded, or stolen. Make a haunt roll now. Grab you. Grab me the madman. Oh, I forgot to give him two mites. Yeah, I'm strong and fast. Boy, am I crazy. <laughs> <laughs> right, that was that was sanity. Yep, sanity. You're crazy and being followed by <clears throat> crazy. It's fine. Yeah, you know, fuck a full crazy. That is way over one. Yep. I don't know if he has a specific thing or not. Yeah, oh. there, there oh, yeah, is. We, we made one. Tracy printed it. And hey, we man. painted it. The madman mad reaching out. Uh, I'm not going to go that way. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> so there's something spooky I want to investigate. Hello, uh, my name is Andrew. Tonight I am playing uh, Professor Longfellow. organ room and I get an event uh, a locked safe behind a portrait is a wall safe it is trapped of course put the safe token in this room and once during an explorer's turn that explorer can attempt a knowledge roll to open the safe five plus draw two items and remove the safe token two to four you take one die of physical damage and the safe won't open zero to one you take two dice of physical damage and the safe won't open James, you're all right. right. If you go. could bring me back. Dining room. Uh, I have no idea. Good omen. Good. The coal shoot. Into the servants' quarters, which is an omen. Ooh, I get the dog. We are um, teetering on an edge, people. The garden. It was fine. Everything's fine. We can keep going. Don't worry about it. Um, okay, I'm going to try to open the safe. I make a knowledge roll. Can somebody pass me some dice, please? Are you knowledgeable? I am. Actually, I have one more die. Yeah, thank you. Need to get five plus. Hey, Ooh, it looks like that. five plus. You did it. I get two item cards and I remove the safe token. I got the pickpockets gloves. Helping yourself has never seemed so easy. When you are in the same room as another explorer, you can discard this item to take any item that explorer is carrying. That is very nice. That is very nice. That's dangerous. The music box. A handcrafted antique. It plays a haunting melody that gets stuck in your head. Once per turn, you can open or close the music box. While the music box is open, any explorer or monster with a sanity treat that enters or starts its turn in the same room must make a sanity roll of 4+. plus. If the roll fails, the explorer or monster ends its turn as it is mesmerized by the music. If an explorer or monster carrying the music box is mesmerized, it drops the box. If the music box is open when it is dropped, it remains open. Oh, cool. So you can basically just leave that on a spot and not have anybody be able to travel through easily. Um, I'm now going to move. Don't betray us. The Mystic Elevator. And I will roll two dice. I'm going to keep that here just so I can 
does three, I can go to the upper floor. I'll yep, put that on the landing. Uh, that's one, two, three, four. I'll go one tile towards Tracy. Yep. I'd like to, you read what the Mystic Elevator does for everyone. Ah. Uh, once per turn, roll two dice and move this room next to any open door on. If you roll a four, any floor. On a three, the upper floor. Two is ground floor. One is the basement. And zero is the basement. And then take one die of physical damage. You fell. I mean, you did. Um, yeah. On this upper floor? Yeah. Ooh. The tower. You can attempt a might roll of three plus to cross. If you fail, you stop moving. And I get an event. Night view makes sense from the tower. You see a vision of a ghostly couple walking the grounds, silently strolling in their wedding best. I must attempt a knowledge roll. On a five plus, I recognize the ghosts as the <clears throat> former inhabitants of the house. I call their names and they turn to me, whispering dark secrets of the house. Gain one knowledge. Zero to four, pull back in horror, unable to watch. Knowledge roll. Yep. Uh, yeah. It's a five. All right. Gain another <clears throat> knowledge. Can I have some knowledge? Can I will use some knowledge. Impart. Professor. I will impart the secrets of my age upon you. <laughs> Don't want to tell you some that. <laughs> I'm just going to open a book and just shake it in front of you. <laughs> absorb the knowledge. Is this how you did it, Professor? Uh, yeah, for all Okay. It's your turn now. <laughs> I'm going to come upstairs. Please don't kill us. Yeah, then we're going to go right... Nope, right there. <laughs> the chapel. The chapel. <laughs> all right, I need an event card. Yes, you do. All right, a phone call. A phone rings in the room. You feel compelled to answer it. Roll two dice. All right, I need two <laughs> dice. A sweet little granny voice says... I'm always here for you, Patty Cake. Watch I gain one knowledge. Why is everybody getting so much knowledge? Jeez. Get smarter. I think it's going into the house from you, and then we're just absorbing it. All right, and I am ending my turn in the chapel. The storeroom, okay. where I get an item card. Armor! Five, six. Hi! Me and my homeless man are going to stay in this church for a little bit. I gain sanity. We're <laughs> ending my turn in the chapel. You out. have to roll a might roll of three plots. No, I'm not. not. Uh -oh. You do I not go anywhere. Stop moving. That is my entire turn. <laughs> All right. Uh, are you stuck on that bridge, eh, hey, Professor? Yeah. One, two. The research laboratory. That's where I need to go. And then an event card, please. Oh, that event symbol is really hard to see on that floor. Groundskeeper. You turn to see a man in groundskeeper clothing. He raises his shovel and charges. Inches from your face, he disappears, leaving muddy footprints and nothing more. I must attempt a knowledge roll. All right, so I do a knowledge roll. Man, you almost died. I did. There's this creepy groundskeeper named Willie. Hey, that's the homeless man's name. Then he's not homeless. He was a living caretaker. <laughs> Stop <laughs> trying to circumvent the game, <laughs> Tracy. <laughs> I find something in the mud. I draw an item card. You really I have all the cards. You have all the you cards. Have all the, you are the permanent. I find a puzzle box. Hey. Yeah. Nice. This card. <clears throat> Please don't kill us with it. You think James is going to be the journey? Mm, is that your prediction? Maybe, yeah, I don't know. I don't think I've ever played with James when he's been the traitor. I've never I actually, I've, ever, I've never been the traitor. Yeah. My years of playing this game, never been the traitor. I've seen Bonnie, no traitor, me. Bonnie some more. Bonnie some more and me some more. 
I don't think I've seen anyone else be the driver. Stairs! Basically, you have to move before you draw a tile. I mean, <laughs> boop, boop. I'm moving, so... I can keep going. Towers one, two... Hmm. I'm just gonna go back down. Yeah, no, I'm, I'll be up here. So three and four. Be there. I spent my my time in the chapel getting my sanity back. I shall uh, upper in basement. The gymnasium on the upper floor. That's a noisy that's a, gym. That's a bad place to put a gym. <laughs> In the gymnasium, it. once per game, if I end my turn here, I gain one speed. So faster! Yeah! I really got Flash is flashier. Flash is well. <laughs> <laughs> And you get an omen. Omens! I get the holy symbol. Hey, right next to the church. No, you think you would have found it in chapel. Holy symbol. A symbol of calm in an unsettling world. Gain two sanity now. Lose two sanity if I lose it. Yes, guys, I am way sane now, okay? You went okay? from the least sane I to the went most from sane. crazy to an educated person. I can, I, can, I can pick that out of your pocket. Please don't. I really need it. I'm not sure. <clears throat> yeah, if you ever get off that ledge, you can try. <laughs> I can't let go of the railway. <laughs> and um, I'm and I have to end my turn here, so because I do, I gain speed, which means I can run super fast, guys. All right, I am not He's gonna got try the zoomies. to cross the tower again. Uh, I am gonna go to the other side of the research laboratory, though. Dang it! A bedroom and an event. In the bedroom, I find the secret passage. A section of the wall slides away. Behind it, a moldy tunnel awaits. Put a secret passage token in this room. Roll three dice and place the second secret passage in, token in. We'll find out. It, there, there's a moldy tunnel on the second floor. Uh, two. Any existing ground floor room. Um. Secret tunnel. I Secret tunnel. I'm gonna put, tunnel. I think I'm going to put it in the dusty hallway. There's a secret tunnel in the dusty hallway that's moldy? Fairly certain this house is in a demiplane where yeah. everything just does weird yeah. things. Fair enough. I can then use the secret passage Maybe. even if I don't have any movement left, which I will do. Yeah. The dusty hallway. Um, right. My turn. Okay. I am going to continue. You're going to go straight through the room and not try to find the secret passage? Yeah, I don't care. Okay. Do you have to find it again? <clears throat> I don't know. Is it just for you? No. I'm Any explorer can use it, but you can't end your turn in the passage. That's I'm going to go into the bloody room, which I gives me an... It. Item card. What item do you get in the bloody room? Just a bucket of blood. Sacrificial <laughs> dagger. Okay. I mean, I, that's, that's if there were any, like a twisted know. chart of iron cover, of iron covered in mysterious symbols and stained with blood. When making a might attack with this weapon, you may you roll three extra dice, maximum of eight dice, but you must make a knowledge roll first. Can you determine what room this is? Because it says bloody room, but that is not a room title that you would normally give a room. Like, you don't want to walk into a party and be like, hey, can I see your bloody room? Yeah, it's like a sitting room or a den. Um, so if people are okay with it, I'd actually tr like to try to roll for I my puzzle box. not okay with you having a knife, but I don't really have a choice in the matter. So. No, try to take my knife from me. Uh, no, actually, leave that to the professor. You, you joke. I can, actually. <laughs> you we need hell. The love. professor is really good at taking things off children. That sucked. It doesn't matter anyway. I, I would fail to open it up anyway. So, it doesn't matter if it's cocked. Okay. All right. My turn. I am going to go into the dusty hallway nope. and then 
up into the bedroom. Can you if you don't have a oh, door? Oh, can I? I no, don't know. You There's can't. a door. There. You okay. Got to, Never mind. You have to come back. Yeah. I have to and come back. So I am. Wow, this first floor kind of got stuck. Yeah. This is the only yeah. place that anything can go anywhere. Mm-hmm. And the dusty hallway. Oh, right. The garden. It's just a weird jumble here. Oh, you have to go. I see. You have to, I yep. see. Okay. One, two, three, four. Ground floor is going to be the graveyard. Damn. When exiting, you must attempt a sanity roll of four plus. If you fail, lose one knowledge, but continue moving. Guys, I have sanity now. I can try that. And you get an event. You're going to go into the, into the graveyard just so you can say you left. <laughs> what? what the? As you look back the way you came, you see nothing. Just empty fog and mist where a room used to be. Pick up the tile for the room you are in after, no, the one you're in. After setting it, uh, everything on it aside, put it somewhere else on the same floor of the house so its door is attached to a different unexplored doorway and put back everything you set aside. If there isn't an unexplored doorway on this floor, move the room to a different floor. Okay, so it's gonna go over here. Okay, or you could put it right in the gardens where no, that would make sense. There. I mean, okay. you try to go this way to begin with. Yeah. So. Okay. If I got lost, I may as well take advantage of it. Yeah. All right. Hey. Whatever. I mean, that makes sense as to why you'd have to uh, roll to get out of there. So that was one, two, three, <laughs> Suddenly you're somewhere four. Else. So I cannot attempt to leave right now anyway. Uh, and you drew a card. And I drew a card. So I went. Uh, I'm just going to move one more. <laughs> Game room. Game room. I had an event in the game room. The lost one. A woman wearing a Civil War dress beckons to you. You fall into a trance. Of course, it's a knowledge roll. You must attempt a knowledge roll. If you know the ah. results are five or more, you break out of the trance and you gain one knowledge. Otherwise, roll three dice to see where the lost one leads you. It's a knowledge roll of three or more. I hit or five or more, I'm mm-hmm. sorry. So this is unlikely, but hey. Oh. Nope, I am in a trance, so I roll three dice. Okay. Six. I'm in the entrance hall. <laughs> What's up, guys? That's it. Um, I can get back there. It's not an issue. You're fast. Zippity doodah fast. I should be wearing that. Hat. <laughs> <laughs> Put it back on. It does have the red section. You know. Ugh. I got the collapsed room. I must attempt a speed roll of five plus to avoid falling. If I fail the roll, draw a basement tile and put it in play. You fall there and take one die of physical damage. How fast do you get that? I'm kind of speedy. (laughs) (laughs) Not as fast as the Flash. I I am not as fast as the Flash. That is a tight skull hat. It, it, it really is. Okay. Pretty sure it's a I'm messing up all the tiles. Just, gosh, just, darn it. Now, now, dear. Right. The hat needs to go like that. Do you fall? I do. I fall into the basement. Ooh. Into the catacombs. Good child. Oh. Oh, no. Oh. I take one die of physical damage, which I will throw onto my speed. Because you're still just as fast. I'm just as fast. And I get an omen. Oh no! This might be it. A guess. spear. Might be it. A weapon That's pulsing with power. That was last time. You did. You roll two additional dice, maximum of eight dice, when making a might attack with this weapon. You can't use another weapon while you're using this one. Make a haunt roll now. Hey, professor, I could really use that spear. What? You're very far away. <laughs> All right. Just okay. barely. Guys, we've been just staying ahead of the hunt. <laughs> James, you're up. Me? All right. 
I'm gonna go to the right. To the left, to the left. Go oh, to the right. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm going into the gallery. I can choose to fall to the ballroom if it's in the house. If I do take one die of physical damage, and it is a haunt roll. Oh, this might oh be boy. Okay. There's no way. There's two. Oh. Oh. The spirit board. A board with letters and numbers to call the dead. Before you move during your turn, you can look at the top tile of the room stack. If you use the spirit board after the haunt has been revealed, the traitor can move any number of monsters one step closer to you. If you are the traitor, you don't have to move those monsters. If there is no traitor, all monsters move one space closer to you. And I make the haunt roll now. What do I have to beat? It could be the six. Nope. 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 The hot begins. <laughs> Tune in next time for the haunt phase. Who will be the traitor? And what havoc do they have in store for the others? Only on Game Local.